Hello friends, welcome again. Friends, in today's video lecture, we want to understand what discourse analysis is. Friends, when we are studying linguistics, we come across this term discourse analysis. First of all, let's try to understand what this discourse is. Friends, remember, discourse means a set of communication between two persons. Okay? Discourse means a speech. Discourse means some conversation between two or more than two people. So, an interview can be a discourse, uh, an argument can be a discourse, right? Even a poet, when writes a poem, that can be a discourse. Why? Because the poet wants to convey his thoughts and emotions by writing the poem to the readers, right? So, wherever there is communication, that unit of communication is known as discourse okay so two or the, the the conversation between two or more than two people can be considered as discourse now friends you know during the 20th century and particularly during the second half of 20th century many linguists were trying to analyze language you know they were trying to find out where the meaning comes from okay some people believed that the meaning comes from words from sentences okay but a new theory was developed during the second half of the 20th century and this theory believed in the discourse analysis they believed that communication then between two persons can be analyzed considering the social and historical context right so what happens you know one sentence has one meaning okay but that meaning is found in india but the same same sentence if you use in some other country in some other culture in some other social surrounding it might mean something different as you can see on the screen, you know, the picture on the left side serving liquor may be good in one culture, in one society, may not be good in the other culture or society. And serving tea may be good in one society, may not be good in other society. So the meaning does not lie in the language itself, the meaning lie in the social context. Take this example, as you can see in the picture, the husband and wife, okay, the wife having a cup of tea in her hand and the newspaper is read, is being read by the husband, okay, and now the wife asks, are you reading a newspaper? Now, what is the literal meaning of this sentence? Are you reading a newspaper? Okay, but she does not mean to say, she does not mean to ask whether her husband was actually reading a newspaper or not. Her meaning was different and the sentence which she is using is different. Okay, so the, the meaning does not lie in the sentence, does not lie in the word it depends on the situation, in which situation it is spoken. In this picture, when the wife says, are you reading a newspaper? Okay, actually she wants to open up the channel of communication or something like, hey, how are you? Good morning, something like that. But she is using some different sentence. So these uh, formalists of the 20th century, they proved that meaning comes from situations in which situation it is spoken okay in which social surrounding in which culture it is spoken so meaning depends on the who the speaker is number one when the speak when the speech is uttered spoken okay and in which social cultural and historical background the speech is delivered that all these things come together 
to 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 make a sentence meaningful so this course analysis includes all these things social historical cultural political all these contexts in which the language is to be studied so uh, this course analysis in literature is useful when you are reading a poem don't find out the meaning of the sentences and words you must also think about in which context it was written in which society it was published okay for whom it was written by whom it was written all these things come together to give you the real meaning of that poem so friends i hope uh, the things are clear to you but if you still have any doubts do write to me in the comment section of this channel thank you thank you very much